Hello, hello, and welcome to the bag making news for March. I'm Emma from Studio 77. Welcome if you're new to the channel and if you are a previous subscriber, welcome back to. Um, so every Thursday we go live on here with tips and tricks and I'm going to start, I think last month was the first one, uh, the last Thursday of the month is also a kind of uh, bag making news roundup that we have just started so welcome I hope to share lots of new things that you might not have seen or you might have missed uh, that I have found through the socials and through people telling me I've got loads to tell you tonight and we're gonna go through them one by one um, I've also got a couple of special announcements that's very exciting for two different things that are coming up uh, that someone you may know is <laughs> involved in. So I'm excited to share that. Um, I can see we've got some lots of lovely faces uh, on the channel in the live chat. I can see Susan, Darshna, uh, there's a couple of Susans, Donna, I can see Hilary, Michelle, lots of 77 Club members as well. I can see Kim, Christine, um, Penny, Maggie, Esther, oh so many friendly faces. I'm actually, Darshna says I'm actually sewing a Studio 77 make. Whoop, very impressed with myself. That's very good, now, Darshna, you have to share which one you are making. Um, Kaiko creates, looking forward to a chill Easter weekend here in New Zealand. Amazing. Um, uh, loved the bubble bag, amazing. Um, are you sewing the switch? The Maggie switch, that's my newest pattern. Um, hi Kim, Zoe, Jane, Michelle. Made another live, hello. Hi C Lombard, is that Claire maybe? Hi Jane and hi Judy. Okay, we're gonna get started. Um, first of all, I wanted to give a little shout out to everybody who came and visited me last week. Well, actually, before we get into that, I wanted to give a shout out to everybody that joined me on the free bag making challenge. Thank you so much. Over 1300 of you were sewing along and watching the lives and participated, which was absolutely amazing. And thank you to everybody who has jumped into the 77 Club as well. It's so lovely to see you all in there, commenting, engaging, being super supportive of each other, which I know you always have been as well. And the previous members welcoming people in as well. So really appreciate you doing that. Um, you can find out more about the 77 Club, which is open. If you have the code, which is Club Offer, all in capitals, although I think you can do it in lowercase, the Club Offer is going to close at the end of this week. Uh, we are heading into Easter, it's the 28th of March, so that is going to close soon. Uh, and that gives you £10 off your first month. Otherwise, the club is staying open. You can join whenever you like. You can find the link to that in the description below if you're interested in joining a super fun and supportive community where we share masterclasses and guest speakers every single month. And next month, we are also going to be doing a shoemaking sew along, which personally, I'm very excited about. We've got our masterclass for the month tomorrow night. If you um, wanted to jump in tonight, you can still get access to that live. But all the masterclasses are on replay as well. Um, it was lovely meeting. Sorry, I'm just checking the comments. Um, hi from Snowy Devon. Uh, Darshan is making three more bunny pop-up pencil cases and two more Easter Valentinas. Amazing, Darshna. Um, okay, right, we're going to get started. Uh, the first thing so we wanted to talk about is the bag making challenge. And I wanted to... I did just talk about that. I wanted to share um, also that oh, I was at the Stitch Festival last week as well. And thank you so much if you were able to come. Obviously, this was in London. If you're not close to London, then you weren't able to come. I thought I'd share you a, share with you a little bit of my haul as well, because I've not shared that with anybody, and show you what I got. Um, there were some new people there this year, which was absolutely amazing. Obviously, this was my first time too, so I was new. And I thought I'd share with you a little... Uh, where is it? Uh, I did just share it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, that's annoying. I just literally added it to it. Okay, hang on one second, one second. Let me just do something real quick. And I'm gonna share, see if I can multitask and share. 
Uh, there we go. Is this gonna, yes, here we go. We can make this happen. I wanted to share with you my stand. So this was me at the Stitch Festival last week. If you came to visit me, thank you so much. Um, me and my dad made those shelves, which you can see on the left. And uh, it was the first time doing a stand and it was a lot of work, let me tell you. But I had some amazing helpers. A shout out to Mel, to Claire, to Debs as well, and to Sheila too. I couldn't have done it without you. Absolute superstars. Thank you so much for helping me. Um, and I'm sure everybody um, who came and met you all um, agree. You were absolutely fantastic. Yes, it was uh, Deb Jameson. Yes. Oh, hi, Deb. And... Um, Deb is live on the on the call so that's amazing thank you so much Deb it was so lovely to finally meet you um she is as amazing in real life as she is online so um that's awesome and um shout out to me made makes as well if you're in the UK and after some hardware because you can get some very good quality hardware from Deb okay so how about I share with you what I bought from the festival I do make my own clothes as well, so it's not just bag making. A little bit of a spoiler alert. One thing that I've been after for a while is one of these, which is a hem pressing tool. It is the Generates Silicon Hemmer. And um, this is unique to Jen Hogg. Jen was a previous uh, sewing bee, Great British Sewing Bee um, contestant, participant. And it is, obviously it's silicon, so it's, um, you know, you can use it with your iron and you can press it. And it's got these little marks for centimetres, so you can see how far you are pressing it over. So this is obviously brilliant for dressmaking. Um, I'm very excited to use that. Also from Generates as well, I got this, which I thought was absolutely genius. It's a machine needle holder, so you can pop in your machine needles and make sure you know which one you're using so I thought that was very cool uh, I'm gonna try and go quite quickly through these um, yes even for bag making exactly um, so that's from Generates she might ship internationally I'm not sure uh, Gail bought that silicon hemmer too isn't it brilliant the other thing which I thought was absolutely brilliant is these uh, Crafters Dream rulers, I'll try and get out of the way, um, which are centimetre quilting rulers, which were absolutely brilliant. Um, so I got quite a few of them because they <laughs> it's so hard to get centimetre quilting rulers, so I was very excited to find those. So I got a little one and I got a tiny one as well which I don't have with me, um, but those are going to be super useful because you can't have too many rulers, can you? Uh, what else did I get? I got these. So there was a bag supply, fabric supply, called Sweet Pea, and I've not seen them before. They are a... Um, you, are they US-based? They're Australian-based, but they have a... Um, what's it called, a warehouse in Texas, I believe, and in now in Yorkshire too. They're called Sweet Pea, and um, I got this lovely cork, I got, just got plain cork, um, but I was very excited by these. So this is a faux, do you know what, in fact, I'm gonna open it. Um, I will just say, while I'm opening it, there is a storm here right now. I have hired hardwired, my internet in but apologies if there's any issues um let me open this up oh cool it's got um oh that's weird it actually feels like suede on the back and then they have their branding i didn't realize that on the back so i got it in gold um which is absolutely gorgeous look it looks like it's all crinkled it looks really like leather uh, love sweet pea designs Esther says she got some of the rulers as well um, can never have too many rulers I misplace my 6x24 all the time so I have three exactly um, oh the lady on sweet pea was lovely I spent ages talking to her and got some lovely things I know it was a bit lethal love sweet pea embroidery designs yes they do embroidery designs too I don't have an embroidery machine but it would be a good one if you're after embroidery things things and designs I got this one, which is, look how lush that is. Um, this is a, is this a bit thicker? I don't think it's a bit thicker, but that shows the branding on the back. 
absolutely gorgeous. Um, really good value as well. I forget how much they were, but they were really good value. And then I also got it in silk, like crackly silver too. So shout out to Sweet Pea Designs because I think they haven't been long in the in the UK for sure. And I don't think they've been that long in the US. So definitely one to support. Um, no worries, Stacey, just popping in to say hi got some of the vinyl as well jill has a power cut so watching in the dark oh my goodness you've probably got this huge storm overhead um sweet pea stock is really lovely gorgeous color i know i know right on to the oh no i got something else as well what's this one i got uh this is like a navy um in that same faux perfect pro faux leather it's called so it's very cool i'm excited to use those um yes stacy is on holiday in disney uh i believe i've nearly finished my butterfly bag sweet peas latest design would have finished it days ago but work ah uh, work is always getting in the way um would you believe i actually don't say that much <laughs> this is my business you'd think i'd be saying all day but i'm kind of i'm kind of with you on that um although i happily love my job so i'm very lucky there uh, the vinyl I used for the unicorn bag was from Sweet Pea. Oh, awesome. That's good. Right, moving on to dressmaking. I did spoil myself with some fabrics and dressmaking. Um, so I know this is a little bit off piece, but I wanted to share with you what I got. So I got this Tilly and the Buttons Esty, which I've had my eye on for a little while. And I've forgotten to bring over some other fabrics. I'm going to see Taylor Swift in August. And so I'm going to make... Uh, this one this version so it's like tucked in so it's like a faux jumpsuit and i'm going to make the top in i forget which way around i think the top's orange and the trousers in pink which i got the fabric for as well the fabric for the pink is polyester so i think i'm kind of hoping that it's not too warm because it's gonna be a bit a bit hot but anyway i've been told i have to dress up so there's an excuse to make some clothes so that's what I'm going to make, the SD from Tilly and the Buttons. And it was lovely to finally meet Tilly as well. I spoiled myself at Fab, um, not Fabric Godmother, I nearly did there. No, Lady McElroy, which I absolutely love. Got talking to them and I got this, which is a remnant that I think I'm going to make a top out of. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I might make another sagebrush top out of that one. Stacey's on her last day in Disney and she's watching us. That, that's, that is dedication, Stacey. Um, I got all the same colours from Sweet Pea. It's storming here in the US. It is here too. Maybe it's a storm that's just taken over everywhere. Um, hopefully you don't sweat too much. I know. I know. Let's hope not. I also got from... This is all from Lady McElroy. Look at this. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Um, I forget which pattern I'm going to make out of this. I think it might be one of the ones that I got from So Over It, which I happen to have here. The Mar Marguerite, Marguerite dress, I think I was going to make. Let's see if I've got a picture inside. This one, uh, no, I don't. And I can't show you. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on. I think I do. I think I do. Let's see. Let's see. There we go the marguerite dress that i got as well as a pattern quite simple very um classic shape so i got that as a pattern and that's what i think i'm going to make out of that lady mcelroy it's absolutely gorgeous this if you haven't used lady mcelroy uh for dressmaking it has such a gorgeous handle it just feels so soft washes really beautifully can't recommend it enough um, if you came to visit the Stitch Festival on Thursday, I was the top I was wearing was from Lady McElroy. It just feels really nice when you wear it as well. And the final fabric that I got from Lady McElroy is this one, which is, again, you can see the sort of theme that I go for, that kind of washed rainbow bright colours. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I'm going to make... I want to I want to say it's called the Adonis and it's a no waste tote. I forget which pattern come not not tote. It's a no <laughs> that's my pattern no waste tote. That's why it just rolls off my tongue. It's a no waste pattern and it's a dress. I'm just going to turn off my phone because it's pinging like crazy. Um it's a no waste 
dress pattern and it only apparently uses a meter so let's see how we get on with that finally two more patterns i got the nina tr trousers also from sew over it and i got the kira shorts also from sew over it and i'm being very optimistic that i'm going to be able to make some of those for my holiday in may i think that's very optimistic so let's see how we get on with that um okay so i'm just going to check the comments um weather in Lon london is disgusting as well so scared to leave my chihuahua out in case she takes off oh my goodness yes she might do um okay i bought some lady mcelroy too love their fabric yes yeah so stunning i could have spent an absolute fortune and the guy that owns it is so lovely as well i was chatting with him too okay right so that's the Stitch Festival. Thank you again for coming and supporting me on my very first solo stand. I did have a little bit of the Knitting and Stitching show together with the Trimming Shop. I had a little bit of their stand. So technically it wasn't my first show, but you know, on my own, it was my first show. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do the Knitting and Stitching show this year. I think I'll probably do the Stitch Festival next year. I think that's how I'm going to do it. But I'm going to have a bigger stand because this year... It was a little bit cramped in the corner and it became a sort of bottleneck which was a bit frustrating um so next year i'm gonna have hopefully the opposite stand and have a nice walk through um my booth buddies were absolutely amazing as well um shout out to pincushion pan pantiles i think it was pincushion pantiles and yarns you like uh, if you're into patchwork or yarn go check them out um where am I going in May? I'm going to Morocco, which I'm very excited about. I've never been to Morocco before. Family holiday. Um, Hilly says, I looked away for a second and missed the dress pattern. Please could you show it again? I'll post it in the group. I'll post it in the um, 77 Club group. Um, don't worry, Jane. Don't worry. I'm sure our paths will cross in the future. It was very, very busy. You know, when it wasn't busy, it was Thursday night. So if they do that again definitely come like that sort of second half of thursday i reckon you'd get around it all with that late night ticket especially if you can stay till eight because between seven and eight honestly i think i saw five people in the whole show so top tip there um would you do threads festival in june good one day in farnham i did it last year i would love to do it again but i will tell you why in a little bit why i can't uh, I had a great time on Saturday, but it was quite busy for me. It was it was intense on Saturday. Go Thursday night, like I say. That was absolutely the quietest time. Thursday during the day, now that was manic. That was the busiest, busiest time. But Thursday evening, hardly anyone there. Um, let's just go to Knitting and Stitching Festival. Yes, that's what we're going to do, Debs. I, I want to go as a punter. I definitely didn't see enough around... I definitely want to go as a customer and do some shopping um was it as busy on sunday no not as busy uh yes i think because so many of us came to say hi it caused the bottlenecks it was lovely though it was so lovely to see so many of you and so many of club members and so many of you that had done the challenge as well right on to all the news uh, i've talked for too much about that so let's get going right so what are we going to do first i think i have them on here uh don't forget there is going to be two announcements within the within these um the, 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 i've done the stitch festival haul right oh good why has that not worked oh man it looks like it hasn't saved anything so that's super helpful okay that has not saved but the other ones have oh my goodness me okay some have saved some haven't bear with me one second why have we not it's not saved oh joy of joy of joys hmm okay this is always fun when this happens okay i'm going to see if i can quickly find these things Oh, I love it when I have to do this on the hoof. <laughs> Need to play some music. La 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 la. I am going to find it. I'm determined to find it. Okay, I know where that one is. Um, come on. Uh, I know why. I know why. Hmm. 
Oh, it's not playing the game. Okay, never mind. Okay, I will share with you what I can and I will just talk to you about everything else. Um, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Okay, bear with. I've got a, I've got a plan B. I've got a plan B. Let's move that out there. I just love it when the tech gremlins come to bite me. Uh, we are going to go with that one. I am going to share my screen and then we can see what is going to... Yes, this is going to work. Okay, no panic. I am going to do that and I'm going to share um, this and I'm going to share that and it's all going to be all good. We will get there. Bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. Um, is it that one? Yes, it is. Hurrah. Okay. So apologies. This isn't quite what I had planned but we're going to get there. So the first one that I wanted to share with you is, let me find the details. Okay. This is Kim Cascona Designs and this is her mixtape bag. And I thought, how cool is this? Um, I forget where you shared it, Kim, but this is is for the um, mixtape fabric that you can see in the middle there. I believe this is Kim's own design. Kim, if you're alive, um, maybe you can share, oops, maybe you can share with us whether it is your own design for the actual bag pattern. But I thought it was really cool with the mixtape in the middle there. Um, Okay, so that is from JJ's Custom Fabrics and More. And I can uh, share, hopefully it's going to come on there, yeah. So this is in a Facebook group and I'm going to pop that on the live in the um, chat. And I will pop it afterwards in the description as well. So this is Kim's mixtape. I thought that was really cool. Definitely deserved sharing. Um, okay, next one. We have got the this Facebook um, uh, challenge. So we have got a challenge next from Kite Co Creates, who I believe is also live. Oh, Kim has said um, it's an ITA bag. There's a cassette tape on a in a board that slides inside the front pocket. You are so genius, Kim. That's absolutely amazing. Um, I presume you're gonna be bringing out a pattern for that because I know that people are gonna want that. Another one that I wish I had designed. <laughs> okay, so the next one is, and I really hope this has changed. Yes, it has saved, amazing. The next one is the Circle Bag Challenge with Kite Co Creates. And this is a bag making challenge because circles are really hot right now. So it's encouraging everybody to join this challenge. Um, what's gonna happen is you're gonna add your image to the comments within a post that I believe is, is in a Facebook group, which I am gonna share in the comments right now. Um, and you're gonna share your circle bag in there. There, it can be made any time this year and up to the 21st of April when this challenge closes. Um, you can add, it says, please add discussion and or questions to another post to make it easier for our judges. Um, so there are three guest judges and I can tell you that Kim is one of the judges, Kim from K, K, Kazakona Designs, apologies Kim, who I know is live watching. And I can tell you that I am very, very proud to be the second judge to be announced. I believe this might be the first announcement of it on, on here live. Um, so I'm very excited to be judging this challenge. And you can find out who the third judge is going to be, which is also very exciting, uh, by joining that Facebook group that I have just shared 
again if you're watching on replay i will pop that in the description below as well um join the challenge share your circle bags and join in to win so very excited about that okay the next bit of news is oh darshan says whoop whoop i won bobbin ch chicken success <laughs> that's always a good one uh okay well done congratulations so we also have a new pattern now this isn't a bag but it definitely needs sharing because i know if you're a bag maker you'll be able to make this as well this is from lynn's hands handmade and this is the aaron apron look how cool that is that is um available right now it's just launched i believe um this week or recently anyway um, so again, I will pop a link to all of the patterns and everything that I mention on this live. I will pop that in the description so that you can find it. Um, and that is the Aran apron. Very, very cool. Um, I love how it crosses over at the back with that little holder. And then you've got the um, uh, buckle on the back too. Very cool. Uh, okay, next one we have... Now, some of these are not going to um, share. Hang on one second. I need to go here. So I'm going to have to share my um, screen again. Um, I need to, it to share there, please. And that one is that one. It's not playing the game. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, here we go. Right. We are going to make it hurt, work by hook or by crook. Okay, we are going to go down to here. Here we go. Oh my goodness me, why is it not saving? Nothing seems to be saving right now. That's okay, we are going to go with it. Maybe it's the storm. Maybe it's just having a bad day. Here we go, we're gonna get there. Here we go, and there we are. So this is a brand new pattern by Kaya Papaya Design. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is the Letty Mini Bowler Bag. How gorgeous is that? Um, it looks like it's quite a simple pattern, but really comes out lovely because you have that stripe in the middle i love the, this added chain on this particular one too so you can really change it up make it your own very classic looking design um so that is available now again i will pop a link to this pattern in the description as well um I was watching this video last night, so tempted to make myself this apron. I know, isn't it a brilliant pattern? Ooh, that apron would be perfect for my markets and craft fairs. I know, right? Blame the weather. <laughs> I was thinking it might be handy for when I'm picking my orders too. I'm forever putting my pens down and losing them. Yes, I know. So this is, anyway, that was the Aaron apron. I'm going back on the comments. But this is the Letty Mini Bowler Bag by Kaya Papaya Designs. Um... And I think that's absolutely gorgeous. So shout out to Kaya Papaya. Right, next we have the... Let's... Uh, I know what I need to do. One second. I need to go back to here so that I can move things around. Isn't it fun when things... When things take a turn from what you're expecting? That's all the fun of being live, isn't it? So next we have, let me transition over from Sakaton. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. We have this absolutely stunning bag and this is called the Imhotep. Hopefully again, I'm pronouncing that right. Imhotep. And this is from Sakaton. Look at these absolutely gorgeous tester bags. Um, this is a really beautiful handbag that you're definitely going to be proud to have it on your arm um, I believe it comes in a few different languages as well I believe it comes in English French and German let me just check yeah French English and German there um, so that's great for our international friends if you are learning or you you know you have a different language um, that would be a great one to try out as well 
Um, okay, so that is the new pattern from Sakoton. And next up we have this one, which is a new pattern from Mecca Posh. Again, hopefully I'm pronouncing this correctly. And this one is called the Kelly Bag. And again, really classic handbag. Um, this is brand new out this month. Um, I love that you can change up this front panel. There's some really beautiful difference. See if I can change the pa the um, tester patterns there, tester bags there. How you can uh, change up this front panel to be, you know, a feature panel. Um, really beautiful bag there, and you've got a little zipper tab on the top. So that is the Kelly bag from uh, Mecca Posh. Just check. <laughs> Just check the comments. It's made me laugh. Uh, Michelle, um, I'm on, on my OMG, I'm a be broke with my pattern list ever growing and waiting patiently from your new one in the club, which I'm going to have to make immediately as I need a sh new shiny bag, not literally shiny. <laughs> Stupidly, I haven't got my new one, but I might be able to find that as we're talking and show you right the next one we have let me go back to here while i transition over is the new one from let me get rid of this, some of these the new one from drum roll please country cow designs our good friends adam and joe over at country cow designs i know that they are taking a break and they're on holiday right now i hope they're having a fantastic holiday um, and this is the industrial tote. So this is specifically, as you can see here, designed for industrial walking foot sewing machines using genuine leather and it is unlined. So it's a really classy looking uh, leather tote bag. Um, really cool. I love this kind of edging on the pocket here you know you can stand stands out you can just use it i guess you can just have it as your raw leather or you could do your edge coat as well if you wanted to take it up a notch so that is the new pattern from country cow designs and that is called the industrial tote and i just thought i'd check um yeah so you can find all the details there again i will pop that as a link in the description um, okay, next one we have ba, ba, ba. we have this one which is the one second oh uh, this is interesting join the Facebook group and members get ten percent off the website purchase so that's very cool so you definitely want to hunt out the website for this one, uh, Facebook group for this one. This is called, this is by obiesbagpattern.com. And this is called the Aurora Bag Pattern. As you can see, it's currently on sale. And I thought I wanted to show this one because it's quite an unusual one. Um, let me see if I can change over the pictures. I really like this side design where it kind of goes in at the side. I thought that was quite neat. And then the top with the grommet in the top for your bag handle as well. A bit different, quite nice and classic. Very fancy for your, you know, an evening bag, that kind of thing. So that's the Aurora bag pattern from Obi's Bag Patterns. Um, Donna said, excuse me, it's donut time. Um, Donna, I hope you're sharing the donuts with everybody else. <laughs> oh, and uh, Darshna says Ellie and Mac had a new bag on their feed too. So that is interesting. Uh, Darshna would like a donut too, please, Donna. Uh, Michelle says, I spotted the triple sling pattern by Country Count Designs last night and my son, who never really cares what I make, asked me to make one for him so he can use it when we go to the football. Ah, let me see if I can find that because that is a new one, isn't it? Um, mum, 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 mum. Maybe I can find it. Uh, is it? Here we go. Let me see if I can find that and I can share that with you too because that is one of their recent ones. 
and I'm going to find that. Is it called the triple sling? I guess it's called triple sling because you've just called it that. So let's see if we can find that. Here we go. Triple sling. Let me share this one because I feel like this is a recent one that I may not have talked about. This is the triple sling, which is also from Country Cow Designs. This has been really popular. It's like a, a secret bag for when it's really good for when you're traveling. You can fit your phone in there. You can fit your um, travel money, passport, that kind of thing. And it's available in French as well. Um, let's share another picture so you can get an idea of it. Or let's get rid of the cookie policy. Then you can see it better. Um, we all want to know what donuts Donna's having. Donuts, Donna's having Krispy Kreme. Oh my goodness. Okay. We all want one now, Donna. <laughs> anyway, that is the uh, second to latest one from Joe and Adam at Country Cow Designs. Right, we've shared the Aurora. We've shared the mixtape. Right, we've only got a couple, but we do have another announcement. So don't go just yet if you're watching. We have as well, let's see, we have, this is available in the um, Sofal Therapy Woven Linen Oxford pre-order event, which is on Facebook, and I will share that in the chat, but also, like I say, I'm going to share all of these in the description, so you can find these links, and I did have a lovely picture, and I'm going to see if I can find it, because... It is a very nice picture and I really hope I can find it to share it with you, but maybe I can't, which is mega annoying. I do have it! Hurrah! This is from uh, Cynthia at Dandelion Creations and this is using the Soulful Therapy Woven Linen Oxford and it is a waterproof fabric which is also domestic friendly and I thought it looks really interesting because it have that has that linen look so it would make a really lovely bag um so I'll definitely be checking that out um so I thought I'd share that um yes Zoe there is a really cute pattern let me see if I can find that so that I can share it maybe it is better that um my Facebook, my uh, images didn't share so that I can find these images live. Here we go. Let's find this and share this because this is super cute and I totally agree. Uh, another one I wish that I had designed. Here we go. This is the Bartol Bartolo, Bartolo uh, fish pouch pattern. How cute is that? Um, you, you, you make the tail by using a ring kind of zipper pull or a key ring, I guess you could use, and then you put in the little fin at the back at the bottom. So cute. Um, here, I'll show this one as well. Oh, there we go. Bartolo fish. Uh, looks like it's quite a, a quick one to make, um, be a really cute little Easter pattern as well, I think. Um, so that is the Bartolo. Thank you so much for reminding me about that one. Oh, everyone's sharing now. That's brilliant. I might have Michelle says I might have to check out that fabric because I love everything waterproof. Yes, Michelle, you don't have to interface. Don't we love that? Um, okay, we also have a new pattern from Blue Carla. So let me go back here while I find it. You have to see my face, I'm afraid, while I find this pattern um there we go absolutely right new pattern release okay let me share let me share here this is called the zabelia zabelia triple zip bag uh pdf sewing pattern and this is by blue carla blue carla patterns and supplies so that looks like a really nice one to make as well thank you for mentioning that eleanor um so that's a cool one to check out too. I will share a link to that afterwards as well. Okay, we have one last thing to talk about, which I'm very excited. And this is why, well, there's two things actually. 
Uh, this this is why I cannot do the Threads Festival in Farnham, even though it is right down the road, literally like 20 minutes down the road from me. Um, and it was brilliant last year. If you are in the UK and you can get to Farnham, definitely go and check it out because it's held in a really beautiful building called the Maltings, which used to be an old mill. I think it was a bread mill. Um, Farnham is a beautiful town anyway. Um, it's one of those kind of old towns with lots of co cobbled streets and everything. Um, so go check it out. It was there last year, like I say. It can't be there this year because you may have seen that I am going to be on the So Magical um, Alaska cruise, which is very exciting. I'm not sure if there are any spaces left, but I will pop a link in the description uh, afterwards so you can find it. But after that, I am also going to be heading down south from Seattle to... And this is the announcement for this, Socation. So if you are anywhere near Vegas, do come along and check us out. Um, I think there's going to be a, I think um, they're going to be organising a, uh, Amanda's going to be organising a Studio 77 meetup. And there's going to be a Studio 77 pattern class as well, which is very exciting. Um, so do check that out, Socation Sin City in Vegas and it is held at the Luxor. Um, so I'm very excited to go from So Magical to Vegas to catch this. When you might have seen the live that we did, um, I've done two lives. So I've done one about the So Magical cruise that you can check out. That is within the lives tab of this channel um, where I talk with Kayla about everything that we're going to be doing and what it's like on board a So Magical cruise. Um, like I say, I'm not sure if that is fully booked, but do check it out if you are interested in going on a cruise. It's a seven day cruise to Alaska with sewing, I am teaching two classes for the Divide and Go, which actually I do have just to the side. I'll be, oh, as everything falls on my head. I'll be teaching two classes on this one. It's absolutely jam-packed, as you can see, full of everything I can fit in there. Um, I'll be teaching two classes on that, which I'm very excited about. And of course, you get to see all the sights and um, sounds of Alaska too. That sails from Seattle. That is the 10th to the 17th of June. Um, so looking forward to meeting lots of people on that. Then afterwards, like I say, I'll be heading down to Vegas for Socation Sin City, which is held by uh, Amanda at So Oside. So if you fancy coming along, I would love to meet you and see you there. Sounds like it's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm very excited to go back to Vegas. I went to Vegas in 2007. Yes, 2007. So quite a while ago. Um, and I'm very excited to go back and see it. Um, we are off. Well, it will be hot. We are off to LA Tuesday. Love Vegas. It'll be hot in Vegas. That is a good point. I'm going to go from Alaska being quite chilly. Not chilly, I hope, but colder to Vegas. So I'm going to have to try and pack everything. Um, amazing what fun you'll have. I'm very jealous of America. They have the best shows and fabrics. I know. And you know what? This time I am not going to pack so much. I'm going to make sure I leave extra space because last time I had to pay extra for my luggage. I may not buy so much and have it delivered when I'm over there as well. Um, yeah, I had to pay extra for my luggage, which was not so fun. Uh, Christine says, I love Sorrow Side. I took my granddaughters there. Oh, that's awesome. It's changed a lot. I bet it has, Deborah. I'm not looking so, so forward to how much it's changed. Um... You will need to book a container ship for your shopping. We need one organised for the club, maybe down the River Thames. Oh, Michelle, now that is an idea. That's not such a bad idea. Well, mm, you'd have to bring your own machine. I don't know how many plugs it would have. I like the idea, though. Um, book business class. Yes, so that I get... <laughs> uh, if, if I could, I would. That would be amazing. Um... Donna says, oh, I wish. Come on, lottery win. Um, wow, what fun. I know. Oh, Sheila, you're watching. Hello. Uh, Sheila was one of my lovely helpers. Um, 
exciting times ahead. It is exciting, Esther. Very exciting. Or in Oxford. Oxford would be good as well. I don't know if I want to go down the whole retreat kind of angle yet. It's a huge amount on top of everything else. Um, a Henley sewing retreat. Are you, are you choosing these places because they're all on the river? <laughs> you want to sew on a boat? I feel like on a small boat it would be a little bit too rocky. So I don't know about that. Um, trip home sewing cruise on the Thames. Yes. Uh, booking business one way saves you on luggage costs. Yes, true. That's a good t a good idea, but mm, I don't know if I, I can I can stretch that. Anyway, right. Thank you so much for joining us. If you are new to the channel, do hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because then you'll get notified every time I go live as well. If you want to catch up on the previous lives, I do share tips and tricks and we do some tutorials as well every Thursday here, 8pm GMT. Although we're going ahead, is it this weekend? We're moving ahead to uh, British summertime, which seems a bit crazy because it has been horrific weather. But anyway, uh, so it'll be 8pm UK anyway. Right, have a lovely evening. Thank you again for joining me. Don't forget to post all your makes and your uh, new patterns if you are a designer or your new tester makes in the Sew, Create and Craft by Studio 77 uh, group, Facebook group, which you can find in the description too. The club, the 77 club is open. We would love to welcome you in with open arms with lots of tips and tricks in there. You can find that in the link in the description too. And the bag makers box is open too. I haven't even talked about that. Uh, you can see it, which way are we? You can see it above me or next to me there. And um, that is open up until the end of April for new subscribers. But I have a feeling we may sell out. So keep an eye on that. Um, if you subscribe now, you don't pay to the end of April too. Anyway, happy Easter, everybody. Thank you for reminding me, Karen Ann and <laughs> Eleanor as well. Um, have a great evening and I shall see you back here next Thursday for some more bag making and sewing fun. Take care. Bye.